Good morning. It is just after six, um, and it's day five, last day. So we're starting a lot earlier today, uh, just because we want to get out earlier, and we actually want to share a meal together um, in the town of Clarney. Uh, Sean hasn't been at, um, in this part of Ontario, and hasn't even been to Clarney, so. Um, we decided that we'll make a little push this morning and uh, get out as early as possible and then sneak into Killarney for um, lunch, f fish and chips uh, over in Killarney and then, then we would drive home. So uh, yeah, time to get uh, packing and uh, it's chilly this morning. I think it's just uh, below 10 Celsius so it's a little chilly but uh, I can see the mist all on the water. but. Yeah, gotta get packing and get uh, Sean up. Probably eat it. I think so. You're gonna <clears throat> you gonna need the calories. Yeah. Oatmeal with um, <clears throat> coconut, roasted uh, almonds, dehydrated apples, and probably some other goodies in there. I can't remember. <laughs> Which is funny because the other side was your strong arm, right? Yeah. It's invincible. Good call. I enjoy that. Yeah.
so say it whenever you want. No, what? A motor? <laughs> you mean you don't like paddling upstream? You don't like fighting the current? A motor is better. <laughs> Spoken like a true fisherman. <laughs> it is getting narrow, narrower here. So we're getting dumped on now. We thought it was going to be a nice paddle out, but fortunately it's not turning out that way. And our rain gear is all nice and packed away, seeing that we didn't think we were going to need it. No. I don't know what that is. Doesn't show a road. Yeah. So we're just paddling up Mazanazing Creek or River, and it decided to pour on us. We thought we were going to have a nice uh, paddle out, but uh, obviously it's not even that dark. And it just started to dump on us, so and our rain gear is all packed away. So we're just going to deal with being wet and just keep paddling forward. Sean mentioned that it's good for our shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do that a little bit longer and then uh... further? So this is the uh, the falls. Um, I don't even know if there's a name for it. I think there is a name, but we don't have it on this map. And I think there's it's a multi-stage falls, so we're gonna portage. It's a 115-minute portage, so we'll go to the top and see what uh, what else it looks like from the top side. Portage is just over there. We'll just paddle over there, and then we'll be on the lake, and then it'll be a short paddle to the the last portage to the vehicles. It's a nice little uh, cut trail, nice path. I mean, it's short. The one thing I can notice is that there are a lot of huge trees. Check this out, right behind, behind me. Notice that this whole area has got a lot of nice white pines and big trees. So it's really kind of stunning to, to come tripping through here. I think we're just coming on to the falls. Oh, there's a bridge as well too. Check it out. <coughs> so we'll just hike down and uh, get access to the river edge. It just rains, so everything's so super slick. But we're gonna head our head down that way. Check out the, the falls and the rapids. Just here at the falls, but uh, we just saw a bunch of blueberries, so we're gonna indulge a bit. My legs are burning as much. Just young right now. Yeah. Which is a good sign. Well, you're not carrying a load either, right? 
Well, no, even when we did little taunts, my legs were like, That's kind of cool, eh? Yeah. Looks like we're just coming to the end of the trip. Here's the portage out, and it's probably obviously the access point. We're not, I'm, we've never been here, so we're, we're assuming that this is it, based on the portage sign and the canoe that's sitting there. Sean, your pain will stop. Yeah. Well, certain pains, we still got another pain to deal with. So we're just at, start, going to start the portage. It is about 1,200 meters long. Uh, and uh, just wanted to show you something. I guess there is a, a backpacking trail around this lake. If you look at this sign here, um, I guess that's a symbol for the backpacking trail, which obviously heads over this way. And of course, the, or there's our portage sign, which heads this way. So we've got a little bit of a jaunt to do. And I can tell Sean's still looking forward to it. Fish and chips. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Fish and chips. Definitely, we're gonna go to Clarney and we're gonna go into town and grab ourselves a nice meal. <laughs> we're just uh, on our hike back to the the vehicles, or the vehicle. The other vehicle is over at Johnny Lake because we came down Mazanazan Creek. <sighs> Sorry. There are mosquitoes here. Okay. Oh, here's an uphill for you. Sean's probably uh, cursing. A little bit. It's be fun with the canoe. Check this cliff out. It's gorgeous. So, we just tra transitioned from a dirt trail. And uh, we're on a gravel trail, but uh, <laughs> the mosquitoes are wicked here. They're latching onto us like crazy. Luckily, I put some bug dope on, but John's uh, swinging away. So maybe it's uh, supplies and stuff. It's kind of interesting. They got logs with moss in there, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of interested to see what that is. But over here is a maintenance building. It's octagonal shape and again it's got logs with uh, stuff in between like I'm not sure if it's cement but it's a pretty uh, neat building so we're just coming at the end and uh, thank goodness sweating like crazy and uh, my pack my belt keeps coming undone. Anyhow, what I meant to say is that my belt is that, is that issue with the busted buckle. So I, 
tied the webbing into a knot. But check this out. It's kind of cool. So, but just finishing the the portage, the parking lot's just ahead of me, and it is hot. These are sweats. I think it's dripping off my nose right now. Oh, there goes my belt. See? Oh, it's so frustrating. It pops off and then the weight's all on my shoulder. But I'm not gonna bother at this point because I'm already at the vehicle. Here we go. Thank goodness we're here, but we got uh, the next load, which is I gotta take the canoe, so. That's not going to be that much fun. I better have a lot of bug dough because the mosquitoes were bad in there. Just uh, finished the portage. Just sweating in my eyes. So we polished that off in. Uh, in uh, 19 minutes. Not bad. Yeah, not too bad. Seeing that we stopped for probably about once for about almost five minutes, four yeah. minutes. Three, four, five. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's hot. So what we're gonna do is uh, my car is parked over at Johnny Lake, so. We're gonna strap this canoe over to his roof and uh, drive carefully. We don't really have straps here, but just rope. Drive it over to Johnny Lake. Considering how sweaty we are. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to Johnny and we're gonna go take a dip and then uh, get uh, the canoe on my vehicle and then we're gonna head over to Clarney for some fish and chips. Well deserved, I think. Cool. And a cold drink. Absolutely. All right. It's such a big vehicle for a small guy. Helps my ego. Should be driving a big vehicle like this to help you see. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible? Terrible joke. It's loaded. Uh... <laughs> nice canoe there, Sean. See, see you later. <laughs> Just loaded up, so we're saying goodbye to Point Grande Park. We'll be back. Well, I definitely will be back. Sean will be back one day, right? I will be back. You will be with back you. with me. Solomon's Bay is waiting. So we're gonna leave this place. We're gonna head over to uh, Johnny Lake right now, and we're gonna go. Well, we're gonna get the other vehicle, and we're going for a swim. Sean, the man, survived the trip. I did! <laughs> I didn't get a sticker though. I promise to send you a sticker, my friend. I got a sticker! You're well deserving of that sticker. Absolutely. And the claim to probably one of the hardest uh, days I've had in my life, so you survived with me. I did. Yeah. It was uh, fun. <laughs> Good! Eye rolling going on. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. super fun. Yeah. We'll do where it started. Yeah. That's where we did the lift over, right there. Yeah. We go left.
much better. Oh. Nothing like after a long portage when you're sweating like like a pig. The pig sweat. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you did. Oh, it's refreshing. Yeah, Clarny. Fish and chips. <laughs> They're sounding. You have to admit, after a portage like that and you're sweating, it's nice to jump in the water and clean up. We couldn't obviously do that at Point Grande Access Point, so we're here at Johnny going for a swim. And uh, now we're going to head over to town of Clarny and indulge in fish and chips. So Sean, how's the food taste? Delicious. It's <laughs> Is it worth the wait? It was worth the wait. I'm getting impatient. <laughs> oh, you almost lost control there, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I was watching and I knew my time was coming. <laughs> I had to get up and get ready. There was a huge line there, so we had to kind of wait a bit. But uh, yeah, he was ready to get up and <laughs> grab someone else's uh, tray. How's the fish taste? It's delicious, actually. Really? It's very good, yeah. Awesome. Just at Herber's Fishery, if you can see her right behind us, <clears throat> and uh, we didn't really video much because we were so busy uh, stuffing ourselves with food because we were so hungry. But uh, just to top it off, I think we're gonna go get some ice cream, and uh, and then we'll both. Well, you got a way longer drive than I do, but then we'll do our long drive home to our waiting honeys. To our waiting honeys. <laughs> and my nice warm couch. She said she made it for me. <laughs> You know, and he's going back like bronze, like, you know, he's now he's got his muscles, like, they're all, like, rock hard. And if I draw a line down, I'll have that. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man, you, you're going exotic. Exotic. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I got a strawberry bliss ice cream cone on a waffle, and what'd you get? Vanilla bean. Yeah. And just safe, heavenly hash. Heavenly hash? Yeah. So we're indulging a bit. We're uh, trying to get some of the calories back that we all lost, so we're working on the padding. <laughs> I'm leading. <laughs> I'm winning. 